After going through and finding your valve to valve clearance and looking for your safe zone and know where you are at, you can go ahead now and uh, degree your cams and your motor. Uh, go ahead and set up your um, equipment. Uh, find the true TDC using your um, the center dial indicator right here. Set it to zero. That's that true TDC and the um, degree wheel on the crankshaft is set right there at TDC everything's zeroed um, and you're ready to go so we'll start off with the cam gear settings at um, zero zero to start off we know based on our valve to valve clearance we uh, have clearance and so we'll go ahead and start finding where our center lines are for these cams, they are the Pro ones, and they call for intake center line at 98 degrees um, after top dead center, and the exhaust center line is 105 degrees before top dead center. I'll start rotating, and we'll start with the exhaust side, um, and I'll measure. Um, a couple thousandths before peak lift and a couple thousandths after peak lift and we'll take the difference to find the center line so start rotating and watch the exhaust um, side it's 100 200 300 400 thou and this is 400,000 so I'll stop right here before peak lift take note of the degree wheel where it's at and we are top dead centers down here you can't really see it but going up this way it is 115 before top dead center so we'll write that down um, 115 and then rotate so it hits peak it'll go peak right here and then come back to where I stopped and take that note what degree I'm at and I'm gonna say 95 95 so we'll, we'll add the two that is um, 210 and divided by 2 which is um, so 105 So the center line, what we just calculated for the exhaust is at 105. So the exhaust cam gear at zero, we've already found that the exhaust side is, is good. So let's go back to uh, the beginning, set everything back, and we'll um, do the intake side now. So what we'll do is we'll start over and now watch the intake side um, as it reaches peak lift so we'll go exhaust opens starts closing intake starts opening so that's one two three four hundred thou and peak should be getting close I'll stop right there take take the degree of how much it is now we are after top dead center now so we are using the top number which is I'm gonna say 89 degrees 89 and then we'll go to peak lift and come back and stop a couple thousands after peak lift and we are at 109 I'm gonna say 109 109 what we'll Add those two and divide it by two. So that brings us to 99 degrees. Um, so we are one degree um, off. I think that that one degree isn't going to make a big difference it is close enough based on my experience so at zero zero for the 
Skunk 2 Pro worn cams in this B18C motor. Um, and the cam gears are zero zero. And with proper valve valve clearance that we have here, we are good and we've degreed our cams. Next, we want to check piston to valve clearance. Using this sheet I've made, uh, it's starting from 20 degrees before top dead center to check the exhaust clearance, piston to valve clearance, and after top dead center to check the uh, intake clearance. So for, for this head it is a B18C and from our cam gear setting after degree in the cams it was at zero zero for these cams. So a rule of thumb that I use is usually uh, you want 80 thousandths uh, clearance for intake side and you want at least 100 thousandths clearance for exhaust side. First off we'll start is the exhaust side. <clears throat> so here I have a set and we'll rotate it to where uh, it is 20 degrees before top dead center and for and take note every two degrees difference to get all my clearances. So start rotating until you get into the exhaust stroke coming up. It's usually when they uh, uh, exhaust cam is starting to close is is where it's most critical between the exhaust stroke and the intake stroke the overlap so uh, I'll get to 20 degrees before uh, top dead center here so I'll stop right there so that's 20 degrees and I'll zero my um, gauge here dial indicator zero it okay and then find something to push down on the valves. I made this tool so what we'll do is we'll push down and take note of the distance for the valve to touch the piston. Don't push it too hard you shouldn't need a lot of uh, force to push it down and so watch it. It was one so 183 that's how much I have. So, 0.183 at 20 degrees before top dead center. Now I'll go 2 degrees to 18. So I'll move this wheel 2 degrees. And I'll zero this gauge again. So every time you do it, you'll zero it and push down. So that's 171. 171. So I'll do one more. So go to your next, which is 16 degrees before uh, top dead center. Zero your gauge. And push down that's 100 161 so I'll go ahead and continue this and uh, once I fill the chart I'll get back and I'll show you guys what happened here's what it looks like after plotting these points into an Excel sheet and graphing it. Um, I use negative 20 to signify before top dead center. This is exhaust side and this is the intake side. They are closest at 10 and 8 degrees before top dead center for the exhaust side and um, it, the piston and valve are closest at 8 to 10 after top dead center for the intake side. This gives you a better um, idea uh, of what it's doing as it gets closer to that. It comes down, the degrees are getting smaller for the exhaust. You can kind of see where your clearance is at. Uh, there's more than enough uh, based off of the recommended settings that I uh, had earlier. 
100 thou for the exhaust and 80 thou for the intake and this shows it there we graph starts at 100 thou so you got plenty of room for adjustment um, of the cam gears if you hit the dyno and you need to uh, make adjustments to your cam gears you got plenty of room um, so if you guys are new please subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll see you guys again take care